Let's talk about Newsweek. Joe Biden. White House brags about Social Security check increase caused by inflation. This is one of the most epic mistakes ever made by a political organization, a political administration. They said, uh, where's, the, where's the tweet? Seniors are getting the biggest increase in their Social Security checks in 10 years through President Biden's leadership. What happened was Twitter had a community fact check which said, actually, it was a 1972 law passed by Nixon. And the reason the increase is happening is because inflation is insanely high. So the White House deleted the tweet. They <laughs> accidentally celebrated that under that inflation was caused by Joe Biden. You get that? They said through Biden's leadership, they're seeing this increase. Talk about a major cell phone. Yeah, that and I don't like Okay, if my dollar deflates and now it's worth 50 cents and I give you two dollars inflates. Uh, yeah, okay, you could say that the value of the dollar goes down. The money is inflated. So the value deflates. We'll call it that. Uh, so if I give you two of those dollars that are each worth half, I can't say that I increased the amount of money I'm giving you. Yeah, you can. That's what they do. It's a lie. I know this is, this is what America does. The United States will borrow. Let's hear a simple version. They borrow 100 bucks from Japan. And that hundred bucks is worth, say, 100 apples. Like, what's the real value? A hundred apples. Then they print another hundred dollars, cutting the value of the dollar in half. Now that same hundred dollars Japan has can only buy 50 apples. So when they, when they say, I got to pay you back, they pay them back half. It's, it's amazing how this stuff works. Yeah, yeah. The value of the dollar has been going down dramatically. And, and the crazy thing is, it's not as bad as it is other places in the world. Like in mm. Europe and the developing world, holy cow, are they dealing with larger inflation yeah. numbers here? We're still seeing artificials way, artificial ways that it's being kind of tamed. But there's a reason why I have this banker t-shirt. There's a reason w their practices that they're doing is absolutely immoral and evil. And at the end of the day, just screws people over because if you have a if you have money say you're trying to save up for a rainy day you put it underneath your couch or your mattress whatever it may be that value of that money is being slowly liquidated away by government's unknown tax which is inflation and we're, we still haven't seen the larger ramifications from it this is just the beginning of the larger financial ramifications that we're we're seeing not just from covid but also from those two thousand dollar checks that everyone got it's 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 crazy that we had free, such free money. Free money, right? yeah, it's free. It just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> it, it's not free. It, AOC, it, what, what did she advocate for? Debt spending, deficit spending. Yeah. Oh my Don't you God. know modern monetary policy? Just yeah. print the money, spend it, and devalue the savings of everyone else. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Your wages become worthless. And modern currency is based on trust. That's the thing too. And with the, uh, the trust in the government going down dramatically, um, and every other government as is, with the recession going on too. And China becoming more powerful. I, I seriously think the US dollar just can't keep doing this, taking every bashing, because it won't come out on top. And at the end of the day, the world global currency will switch on to something else. That's why China's devalue of their currency. They're probably playing the long game, and one day they're going to bounce up and everyone will switch. I mean, uh, credit's due, where's due? Russia put their currency back partially on the gold standard, right? Do you see that price shoot up? But nowadays, you know, the currency actually has no real value, and it's just, uh, it's just a paper straw that's about to break, basically. Yeah, China also. Also is, is dealing with a lot of very heavy financial ramifications, yeah. especially in their uh, real estate market. And there, there's just there's just so much irresponsible centralized banking going on that it's absolutely reckless to have any faith in the system. If you have faith in the system, you might as well believe in Cla in Santa Claus and and uh, the Easter Bunny. You, you have more faith in in those made up ideas than you should in the banking system when you truly find out what's really happening behind the scenes. And now we're on an infinite reserve system, meaning the banks can just print out debt endlessly. So mm -hmm. expect inflation to get substantially worse and never stop getting worse. Yeah. What Knowing that and having no or losing faith in that system, the, the faith-based system, the fiat system actually means faith. Uh, what would you advise? I'm I mean, buying, you're not a financial advisor. I'm buying Dogecoin. You're but buying I wouldn't crypto? advise anyone. I didn't say that. I said Dogecoin. Dogecoin. And uh, no, I'm kidding. I, I did buy Dogecoin, but I I would not give anyone advice on what to do because honestly, I have no idea. I would yeah. say be careful. I'm not a financial advisor, but what happened during the Great Depression was a lot of people were taking out loans on um, margin, margin, meaning they didn't have the money to cover the loan if the value dropped of the commodity that they were. And then the banks called the loans back in and they had no yeah, money the, because the value dropped. And then they would have to sell off all their assets at a loss to pay back the margin call. 
Uh, so yeah. I avoid I avoid that right now. I don't know what yeah. the market could drop by uh, times you know one thousand. It could become worth a thousandth of what I, it's I worth. I mean, the problem is being compounded because they've been prolonging a, 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 a correction. They've been making sure that there's going to be no downturns in the economy, and they artificially do that. They, they have been inflating this bubble more and more and more. And because of that, when it does finally correct itself, there's going to be so much pain. There's going to be so much suffering. And these policies were just being deliberately done. And we're screaming, hey, this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is going to lead to more pain, more havoc, more suffering for everyone. And no one's listening. And we're so, just continuing on with these same policies to now the point when the correction is going to happen, it's going to be massive and it's going to hurt everyone. I, I saw a story about this guy. He found a, a, a tin full of cash in like his attic or whatever. It was like grandpa hit up there. And it was something like 50 grand or whatever. And they were like, wow, so amazing. We found 50 grand. I'm like, that sure does suck. Yeah. Because it was worth 500 grand when your grandpa put it up there. If only he bought gold and put it up there or, or, or stock in An something. An empty lot yeah. in the city that's now yeah, developed seriously. all around. Yep. Yeah. We're like, yep, the cash is worthless. You think yeah. like a president's going to come in and be like, all right, everybody, things are going to be very, very, very painful. Here's why. Now it gets painful. The, everyone would blame that person, that president. Like you were saying earlier, who wants to be a politician in this climate? Like, And then what? Would they be looked at as the worst president of all time because they were the ones that finally allowed the, <laughs> the facetious system and to fail? For a lot of reasons, Biden already is, but sure. And, but he hasn't he hasn't done the financial break. He's trying to like push it, push it, push it, kick it onto the next guy by printing more money and like slowing. But it's just like cre building pressure so that when it does explode, it's going to be a bigger explosion. Yeah, or the can maybe the we could transition to a better system without having a giant explosion. What? You're still going to have to pay the bills, right? I don't You're still know. Have I don't to pay think you do. Money. I don't think you have to pay the Federal Reserve back all that interest. I mean, it's a private company. What what right does a private company have to demand of the U.S. government anything? Yo, I'm going to be very cynical here and say they're doing this on purpose. Because think about it. All these people, especially the Biden administration, they think in four-year terms, nothing else. They don't think about 10 years down line, 20 years. And the Biden administration knows they screwed up with Biden completely. They know they're going to lose the next election. election. Uh, I think they have some self-awareness. I honestly think they're just trying to print as much money as they can, line the pocket of their friends like they're doing right now, until the next election cycle in, say, two years. And then the bag is passed over to the new right-wing presidents, and then suddenly um, everything collapses, like you said. Yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, it's their it's plan. Kinda... They want to basically sink you uh, know, the ship. I have advice for people. Buy chickens. Chickens will live in pods. They will eat bugs. <laughs> and they will give you eggs. I was talking with our chicken tender, Kim, the other day, and apparently what you can do is take cows in one paddock, they live there, they poop there, then when they're, they've saturated the area you move them to the next paddock and then you move the chickens into where the cows were they start sifting through the cow poop refreshing the grass they they regenerate the land well, no no the chickens destroy the grass but they'll they'll they, actually they tilled that whole it's crazy so we so we, we we cut off we sectioned off this area for the chickens and it was tall grass the chickens went in and oh. annihilated it and get it ready for for crops yeah, mm -hmm. they'll, right. they'll, they'll mm -hmm. get rid of all the weeds which is the grass and yeah. then they'll you that's have right. cropland but, but, but you mentioned something that i want to add on specifically yeah. here you just didn't mention anything the, about chickens don't just, change the subject just to change the topic here on, <laughs> on your favorite topic here uh i think what you mentioned is, is right and it's not just you know a politician that's going to come and save us because if we if we look at what's been happening here it, it's not a democratic problem it's not a republican problem it's a duopoly problem as of course we mm -hmm. got to remember biden is spending money like crazy he's deliberately destroying the energy sector he's he's passing the inflation reduction act which doesn't reduce any inflation at all. And then, of course, we had the other guy beforehand that also spent a crap ton of money on the military industrial complex and started handing out $2,000 checks to everyone like it just came out of nowhere. So, so whether it's Donald Trump, Biden, or even Obama, or even Bush or Clinton before him, they all made this problem worse. And what makes you think that another Republican coming into power is going to help this? It's not. But you think that, I think, Miles, you're making yeah. the point that they're going to plan to get someone of the political party they don't agree with in power before they tank the economy. And who's right. there? No, I, like I think they're going to tank the economy as soon as, uh, say, the next Trump gets elected, basically. No, the Republicans so, will win now. Yeah, they'll, they'll, win, they'll win the next election, basically. But they'll cause the global crisis. They'll time it. Because they've got all the numbers. They've got all the calculations. I think they know what's going to happen. They'll time it to such a point that the big recession happens when the Republicans come back into power and they'll go, oh, look, what the 
Republicans have done. They've come into power. It was bad underneath our terms, but that was because of Trump. And then they'll say, look, they're in power now. It's worse than ever. Not even Trump. I mean, I think Trump's going to be playing playing the game here. If it's a populist, if it's someone who's going to come in and be like, hey, I could finally represent the people of America. I think China, Wall Street, and all these other larger financial institutions and the Federal Reserve will come to them be like, you will? Okay, we'll, we'll destroy this whole game right now. You better play along or we're going to tank the economy deliberately and blame it all on you. Yeah. What do you want there, buddy? And I think the next president, even if they're going to be a populist, even if they're going to be representing the will of the people, that's the perfect opportunity for them to finally drop all the bags. Oh, yeah. You know, I used to be an investment banking analyst for a few months as well. Yeah. And I've got still friends of our field and I met Martin Screlly a few weeks ago, you know, for a, a few meetups, lovely guy. <laughs> but they are sounding alarm bells right now. They are yeah. basically saying, hey, I'm going to put some extra money aside and liquidate it and put some crypto or I'm going to buy some extra food or I might mm. buy some farmland, you know, and learn a little bit about farming or raise my kids to learn how to uh, sew clothes back together. Hmm. And these are bankers earning, you know, $200,000, $300,000 right. a year at the minimum. Things you are going to get worse. You will own nothing and you will be happy. Yeah. Check out this. So I'll give you one of my shirts next time you're around them. You could you could wear the you shirt. Want, if my career doesn't pop off and I have to go back to that lifestyle, I'll wear that to the interview. Good. Thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast. But if you want to check out the full show live, tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And if you want more special access content, head over to Timcast.com and become a member. Your membership helps sustain this company, keep our journalists employed, makes this show happen, and you will get access to exclusive members-only segments of the Timcast IRL podcast. And there's a massive library to check out. So again, go to Timcast.com or tune in Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And we'll see you all there.